Hey everyone. Welcome to Coffee Time. Cheers. Mmm. So good. Alright, so the mug that I'm using is the Saturday Evening Post. And I'm using this mug. It's my boyfriend's mug, but I'm using it because I have um, one thing that matches this mug, so stay tuned. Alright, so I have a lot of things I want to share with you. I've been going to estate sales, garage sales, thrift stores, and I collected a couple of things, so I'm, I'm excited to share with you. Let's get started. Alright, the first thing I want to share with you is this garlic press. <laughs> Um, it's from Italy and um, well, I went to two estate sales yesterday one of them had so many knickknacks so this is the knickknack house this is from that house and yeah it's just really simple to use so hopefully it works well um, yeah, I'm very excited that was a dollar um, another thing that I got from that knickknack house is this salt and pepper shaker. Um, this one has five holes and this one has three holes. So within the five holes is the salt and three holes is the pepper. But if it was me, I would switch it around. So I would put the pepper in the five hole one um, and salt in the three hole one because I love pepper. But this one doesn't work. This one, um, uh, the bottom cork like broke so I can't even take it out yeah, I think it's just really cute. I might put it on my, um, like my, on top of my stove. You know, there's like a little area. I think it's just really, really, really cute. And on the bottom it says Bluebird. So yeah, it's Bluebird <laughs> with the pink uh, belly. All right, so that was four. Um, all right, another thing that I got from that knickknack house. Can you see? I don't know if you can see. But yeah, this fabric is just so, so pretty. Um, I don't know where she got it from because there is like no, like, there's no indication of where she got it from. Um, but yeah, I found this in the, um, in the basement I just think it's so pretty I've been needing something like this like some fabrics that I want to put on top of um, furniture so that it feels a little bit more cozy than it does because I have a lot of furniture and it's all kind of exposed and I don't know things like this make a home feel cozy so this was two dollars so that's a really great deal. Another thing that I got from um, the thrift store is, <laughs> I'm going in like random order, is this like paddle, like, I don't even know what this is, but it's a paddle and it says Illini because I went to the University of Illinois. So there's a lot of like University of Illinois um, things there. And I like this one because um, it has the Rose Bowl like symbol on it and in LA I live close to the Rose Bowl so I just kind of thought that this is like you know I went to the University of Illinois and also live nearby and so I just thought this was really cool um, and I was thinking that I would put this like next to a frame or like a picture frame but I don't know it like matches I like it <laughs> This is random things that I found. Right. Another thing that I found at University of Illinois is this um, ashtray. It's really small, <laughs> but it's uh, it has like University of Illinois logo on there, and yeah, I think it's just really really cute. 
Right now I have this on my bedtime, bedside table and I just put my like earplugs and random hair ties and stuff like that. So yeah, this comes in handy. Um, I was also thinking like it would be good for like a pen because it has like little divots for the cigarette. But, but yeah, this is next to my bedside table. One another thing that I got from that knickknack house and I got a lot of like small things there is this um, amazing um, teaspoon or measuring spoon. So there's a, a there's an ASMR channel called Rebecca's Beautiful ASMR Addiction and she has these amazing baking videos and she uses like these type of measuring spoons and it's just so like cozy. Her entire channel is very cozy so so yeah. Um, let's see, I got these, and this one has like angels on them, and it has like hearts inside. So I just thought this was like really, really cute. This was um, six dollars, and um, that that tablespoon or the measuring spoon came with this also. Um, it says instant human, just add coffee, and it has a little coffee mug inside, and on the back it has a cafe, it has a mug with a cafe sign, so I think this is really cute. This is a quarter of a cup, um, so yeah, I'm just probably going to put this like somewhere with one of my, like, um, my nuts or something like that, so I can just kind of grab, like, pistachios or something easily, so... Um, I think that's too big for a coffee. <laughs> so speaking of measuring spoons, um, I have this. This is actually from either Sam's or Costco. I think from Sam's. Um, so this is my yeast. And so in one of the estate sale that I went to, this lady was an avid baker. Um, because she had so many like baking things. And one thing that I found is this measuring spoon and it's two and one fourth of a teaspoon so it's for a yeast um it's called a yeast spoon and it's two and one fourth teaspoon because the um the yeast package the you know the one that you can get at the grocery store one package is two and one fourth of a teaspoon so um so yeah, I just thought like that was really convenient instead of like having to scoop out two and one fourth of a teaspoon. Cause last week I made pizza and I accidentally used like, I thought it was like two and one fourth of a tablespoon for some reason. So I used like a whole tablespoon and I was like, wait, that seems like it's a lot. So yeah, I mean that pizza turned out fine, but <laughs> it was just like, it would have been nice if I had that before I made the pizza. All right, a couple things I got from a garage sale are these amazing old vintage like cookbooks, and um, I just I love these. I got these all three for a dollar. I'm gonna go through each one. Um, so Sunbeam, this is my favorite because inside it has um, advertisements <laughs> in color. So it's just really, really awesome. And something just fell out that I love. Okay, so yeah, it has advertisements for a toaster, for a coffee master. <laughs> Doesn't even look like a coffee master. And it has advertisement for a waffle maker and an egg cooker. So yeah, this has like a lot of recipes for like soft molasses cookies and meringue kisses and quick crisp sugar cookies and things like that. So I want to like go through this and make everything inside. <laughs> One thing that was in this cookbook is this coupon and I just think it's so cute. It's a whisk coupon and it's for 10 cents off. I don't even know what whisk is, so I'm going to keep it in there because it's so precious. <laughs> Another thing is the Deluxe Mixmaster 
recipes and this one has a lot of like bread recipes so yeah it has like scotch cream scones banana nut bread maybe I'll make that because I just bought banana nut bread from <laughs> Aldi's um, there's apricot nut bread interesting there's a lot of cakes. I don't really bake a lot because um, every time I bake, I bake a lot and I can't finish it. And I don't wanna like freeze it and I don't really um, have time to like go and give it to someone before it goes bad. So yeah, I don't really bake that much. I have made like carrot cake muffins cause I was like really craving carrot cake and I couldn't find good carrot cake around here. Um, so I just made my own. <laughs> All right, the third one is this uh, General Electric um, free refrigerator food freezer combination. So this is like a, a manual for your refrigerator <laughs> and freezer. <laughs> um, yeah, important highlights about your new refrigerator food freezer. So I think this is really cool. Um, I love the like decor of this is just so cute and look at that I love I love the inside there's 76 recipes you know what manuals should come like this again <laughs> that'll be so so cute like with recipes too because like once you buy a KitchenAid mixer like you want recipes I mean I guess the Vitamix comes with um, a recipe book that I kept but still it doesn't it's not as cute as this you know all right, one other thing I got from that Nick Nick um, home is this cheese cheese uh, slicer, and this was five, and it's marble. It's really really heavy, so I love it. I um, I don't really eat a lot of cheese, but sometimes I do buy like cheese from Costco, like the Parmesan, and I can use that instead of like using my knife. I also make a sandwich, a chicken sandwich with brie. And I don't like slicing the brie with um, a knife because my knife gets so dirty. So it would be nice to be able to use something like that for when I cut brie. All right, cheers to more coffee. All right, um, another thing I got is this soap dish. Um, so this is from the knickknack house and on the bottom it has some signs it says Cohen pottery which I don't know what Cohen pottery is but it says it says ivory and apple blossom soap dish so she must have gotten this from like an antique store and it's just really really cute I love it it's pink I love anything pink um, and I love anything that has like a shell like motion or shell I love shells and I miss my shell lamp at home so yeah this was six dollars and I love it um, I have a big like pink bar of soap that I got for my birthday and I was thinking I could put this um, I could put the soap on this but I might use this for like something else I think it's just so cute um, okay, going back to cookbooks, um, where I got the three cookbooks, I also found this, the New England Yankee cookbook, and this has, like, the randomest, uh, um, recipes in here, and it's just, I love it. Um, I haven't made anything from here, unfortunately, but they have, like, rhubarb wine, grandma's ginger beer potato wine, um, all you need is 10 medium-sized potatoes, uh, 2 gallons of warm water, 6 pounds of sugar. Well, that's a lot of sugar. I don't even know if that's... I don't know how many pounds is in a cup. <laughs> 4 pounds seeded raisins. Seeded raisins? I don't even know if you can find seeded raisins. And 1 yeast cake. Combine and stir twice daily for 2 weeks. Strain and bottle. So if you're interested in making like potato wine, that's how you make potato wine. <laughs> I will probably never make potato wine. <laughs> and that's from Mrs. Donald Shirtcliffe, Turner's Fall, Massachusetts. 
So yeah, I like stuff like this. I don't know, it just feels like something that I would want to pass down to like my future kids. I would want to pass down like a recipe book. So yeah, I love it. It's, it's copywritten in 1939 and it has like an amazing like old book smell. Oh, yeah, I just feel like I'm at the library. <laughs> I love that smell. And I usually smell that when I go to like really old homes. So, all right, some other things that I got from like the thrift store is this Golden Girls cereal thing. And it's kind of not old <laughs> because I think it's from like TJ Maxx or something because I use that like red um, tag. But yeah, I got this for four fifty at I don't even remember where it was. I think it was like Arthur, Illinois, or something like that. It was in the middle of nowhere, and there was like this antique shop, and yeah, I just like stopped by, and yeah, I love those kinds of stores. All right, going back to speaking of Golden Girls, um, I got this Anyway Slice It game, and I think it's just really really cute. The goal of the game is to get eight slices, and the way you get slices, or the way you earn slices, is by um, getting cards correctly. So, or answering cards correctly. And there's like four types of um, four types of like card types. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna open this. I'm gonna share with you a couple of them. One of them is trivia. I'm gonna share with you some of the trivia. And there's some pie slices. Like, look at these pie slices. It's just really cute. And there are a couple of other kinds. All right, so one of the trivia is, according to Blanche, who who lost the stuffing out of his comforter? I don't know. And the answer is in the back, so I do know. Um, which Golden Girls told a neighbor to drop dead, and she did. We all know who she did. Um, okay. Who wanted to be buried in Arlington Cemetery? I don't even know that one. Which means I'm gonna have to go back and rewatch all of the Golden Girls episodes because why not? You know what? I should have used my Golden Girls mark because I have some Golden Girls stuff. Alright, this is a meme. There's like meme cards. Um, that one I'm not gonna read because <laughs> it's rated R. Um, I remember when um, when we had to impress a man's parents, not his children. You don't know. I had to switch high schools because of a field hockey incident. <laughs> and that is Rose. Alright, this is the last one. I could vomit just looking at you. And that is um, Dorothy. She said that to Stan, probably. And then, um, so there's dating, which I think is kind of hard because all these girls have very active life, active dating lives. Um, so who had the date, who had a date die in her bed? That's obviously Rose. Um, who lied to the press and said he slept, spent the night with Blanche. And I'm not going to read that one because I still don't know the answer. Uh, I, I, I want to say like something like Kensington or something. Oh, okay, never mind. It's Gil Hessler. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like playing by myself. Alright, where's the fourth type of card? Okay, the fourth type of card is um, who wore it. And it's like this. And this is Rose. See, I think these are a little bit easier. Um, like this one. And that's Dorothy. So, yeah. I played with my boyfriend, um, a couple, like one game. And yeah, it wasn't that fun because um, he wasn't that good. <laughs> 
he hasn't seen all the Golden Girls episodes. And I think what he didn't really like is that every time, um, every time he didn't know the answer, I would be like, yeah, there was that, it was this episode, blah, blah, blah. And I would like explain the entire episode. So yeah, I don't think he really liked that. <laughs> yeah, every single turn I had to like tell a story about the answer. <laughs> all right, let's move on. Um, in the knickknack house, I found this, um, like clock and it's a it's a birdhouse clock and she had a birdhouse lamp and it was 25 so I didn't get that but I might go back on like Saturday or Sunday to see if it's on sale but yeah I just think this is really cute and um, the thing that matched that is this cloth So yeah, I found this in the first house, the first estate sale, and I couldn't really find anything in that house, but I did find this. I just think it's really, really cute. Like I've been looking for um, fabrics like this that I can put on top of furniture. So yeah, I might, I'm gonna have to pair this with the clock and I'm gonna have to put, um, maybe I might put this like in, the, in my, um, my vanity and then put the clock near the vanity so that it matches. Another thing that I got from that um, that same house where I got the birdhouse fabric is this fabric. I think this is just so cozy. I love like patterns like this. It just makes me feel like I'm entering like an old home with like like really dark wood, old wood and like creaky stairs a little bit <laughs> creaky floors just has that like cozy feel to it so yeah i love it this actually matches or it fits perfectly in my entryway um like furniture piece so all right another thing that i got is this bag i actually got this bag a while ago and um I use this bag for for my estate sales and garage sales <laughs> and also the thrift store because it's really convenient to like like carry this on my shoulder and like just like put like little random knickknacks in here because you know you don't want to be tied down to like however much you want to you can hold so yeah I love it and that was uh, two dollars I think okay the thing that matches my mug is the Saturday evening post poster and it's metal and this was um, I got this at the thrift store for five dollars and I just thought it matched this um, I was kind of hesitant to get this because I was like where am I gonna put it but um, yeah I really like it um, I put this on like the coffee uh, table area and it actually looks really nice. So I really like that. All right, cheers to more coffee. Mmm, so good. All right, let's move on to some other stuff. Yarn. I got this at the thrift store because um, a couple of weeks ago, my boyfriend and I went to the animal shelter to see what kind of um, kittens they, they have and we aren't quite ready for kittens I mean I'm ready he's not ready so I got this because I know like kittens love yarn like kneading on them so yeah I got this this was like $1.99 each at the thrift store so our future kitten is gonna have, have some yarns and he had a lot more yarns um, but I just got two I think these colors like match really well. Another thing I look for a lot at thrift stores are lamps and um, I got two lamps. Okay so um, I'm pretty sure these two lamps are from the same like person who donated them because they're like a similar style. They're similar um, size and also they're both um, touch lamps. So, and they all, they both, oh, 
they both have like a similar um, style, like similar setting. So there's like three different like light settings. There's like low, medium, and high or bright light. So, so yeah, that was a really great find. And I think that was like $5 each. And I love, love small lamps. Like that lamp is also from a thrift store. And um, all I did was I put red light bulb in there uh, so that it's like even more red. <laughs> I love it. All right, let's move on to some, uh, okay, one last kitchen item. Oh, this is really heavy. It's this awesome, um, what do you call this? It's a pitcher, I guess. And I put like my <laughs> kitchen utensils in there. So this is by PR Story Pottery Co. Mar from Marshall, Texas. And I think there's a company um, in Marshall, Texas that used to make like these types of potteries. And yeah, I love it. It's a duck with a baby which I think is just so cute. And I love like anything blue. <laughs> um, even though pink is like my favorite color, I really love like blue decor. So yeah, um, oof. this is really heavy. Okay. All right, now moving on to some clothes. Um, I got this beautiful pink long dress, but um, this was $10. But then it has like a like a line. <laughs> you see that? I didn't see that until after I bought it and after I tried it on. And it's a little tight on me, um, but it's going to fit one day. <laughs> so yeah, I think this is just really, really pretty. When I saw this, I was like, okay, I'm getting that immediately because it's just so pretty. And this is by this brand. Yeah, it has like a zipper in the back. <clears throat> and it's a little tight around like my like this area which I find surprising <laughs> but yeah more clothes I found I love like vintage clothes this dress um, I found this dress at a thrift store and yeah it doesn't fit but it's just so cute it's a little tight around here <laughs> I need to start trying on clothes before I buy things, but, um, but yeah, this goes down to my like upper knee area and yeah, it's really, really cute. Another thing that I got was this skirt. It goes all the way down to my feet. I don't know what to wear with this. Like I don't have like a black, like a tight black top. That would go really well with this but um but yeah i'm just waiting to find something to match this with so that it's really cute another dress that i love 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 that i found at the thrift store is this um old navy dress and it's really 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 cute <laughs> i love dresses i love collecting dresses um so yeah was actually that. So yeah, this is the front and yeah, it's, it's really tight around here and then it goes down perfectly and has a slit. But yeah, this dress is so cute and it fits perfectly. And yeah, this is the last clothing item. It's just a very extra large like blouse and it's very orange, which is very um, University of Illinois colors. And I just like wear it with like, um, with like a black tights and I just like keep it loose. It's really cute. All right. One more thing is this, uh, dog dish that I found at another estate sale. It was like at the tail end of the estate sale, so I couldn't really find anything, but yeah, um, I found this. And I got this for my boyfriend because he was kind of hesitant about it, but I was like, let's get it because um, he recently put down his dog back in February and it was a dachshund like this. So yeah, we have her like leash, which I keep on here um, and her like cookie jar. So 
I have a little like section of the entryway and some other areas of the house. So I just thought this is really cute. I may miss you, Ladybird. Her name was Ladybird. So, all right. Let me just double check to see if I showed you everything. There's a couple of other things that I can't show you because um, it's like too big. <laughs> There's a painting that I might, I will show you during my like living room um, uh, tour and it's in the kitchen but it's such a beautiful beautiful landscape painting and I love it. Um, I found this at the thrift store and actually I will show you. I'm gonna actually go there and I'm gonna show you. Alright, so I am in the kitchen and I found this like amazing painting in the thrift store and it's just so, so pretty. Um, yeah, I got it for $10. So I'm like, it's like my prized possession. <laughs> yeah, I just think it's so pretty. One of my goals is to um, is to like open up a booth, like a vintage, like an antique booth. So yeah, I'm like slowly walking back to the room um, to sign you off. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this inspires you to go to garage sales, to estate sales, um, go to uh, thrift stores and you know, there's a lot of like knickknacks and things like that. Um, and all of these things I usually incorporate into my like daily living. So it's like a part of my life. So, all right. I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time.